Now, this is a preview for you. You can see what your students will see on Edpuzzle. So let's see what we got. So the students have reviewed the Let's skip ahead class. to preview our questions. During class time. Good. Oh, there's a note here. Review sessions. Interesting. Okay, answer the question. And what would I like to do if my class was flipped? I would like to take a nap. <sighs> so another feature here is called rewatch. If a student clicks rewatch, the video will rewind about 30 seconds so that they can try and take in the information. This really speaks to the flipped learning idea of rewinding your teacher. Rewinding the content and the new content in a novel way. So you rewind it, and now the students can review the question again if they're confused. They can rewatch as many times as they like. When you are satisfied with the questions that you've created within the video, you can push assign. You have different options when assigning your quiz questions to your class. For one, Edpuzzle links up very well with Google Classroom. So on the left-hand side, it lists the classes that I have. So if I click this, it will assign it to all of the students in my listening and speaking skills and methodology course. You have some options here. You can choose when the assignment starts. You can set a due date, prevent skipping. So this means the students have to watch the video linearly. They cannot be skipping ahead or cheating. Post on Google Classroom. This will create a post on the Google Classroom site. You can turn on closed captions so the students can read your speech. And in addition to Google Classroom, you can also just copy and paste and share a public link so that students can click on the link and watch the video and complete the questions. So let's copy and paste this link into a new tab to test it out. So this is what your students will see. They'll can start the video. Good, good, good. So under my content, you'll be able to view the content that you have made in terms of videos that you've added questions to. And up here, we also have a feature called Gradebook. As you can see, I can't see any assignments that I've given to my listening and speaking skills and methodology course because start date says August 5th. After August 5th, I didn't assign any more assignments, so I have to change the start date. Ah, oh, June 7th. As you can see, I have experimented with sharing some of these flipped lecture videos on Edpuzzle with past trainees. And it's got some really cool features. You can see how often the students watch the video. Wow, one student spent one hour and they got perfect scores on the quizzes. Now, the trainees that I worked with had the option of using either Edpuzzle or Google Forms to create their lecture notes. So that's why some of them posted zeros. I promise they're not lazy. In fact, all the trainees completed all of the assignments except for one. So I was very proud of them. But this is a really neat feature to get a good take on how much time the students are spending and their progress in completing the lecture videos. By clicking up on the profile area, you can see change your name, your email address, and you can choose the Google account that you are connected to. If you choose a Google account connected to your classroom, that will allow you to share your videos with your students through Google Classroom. Super important. And finally, if you look under popular channels, you can search so many different videos that either have questions already installed or that you can add questions to yourself. So you don't always have to create and upload your own lecture videos. You can also use Edpuzzle, National Geographic, YouTube, Khan Academy, Crash Course, 
there's so many different websites that you can explore and use their videos in order to ask your students questions and for them to review the content before class time. So that's a brief overview of the Edpuzzle application. I hope that you found it interesting and useful. And I look forward to seeing you in the next class. Until then, cheers.